All right, guys, we're back on Grenada, and um, this video, we're gonna do a little bit different view. We're actually gonna set you behind so that we don't miss some of those big fish. We're uh, trying to work the camera and then also catch fish at the same time is a little difficult. So a lot of times we'll get about five or six fish on the, on the video, and then we, you know, that's the video where we're missing a lot of the bigger fish later in the day. So this time we're gonna set it back here, let it run, and you're gonna see all the fish today. So appreciate you guys watching. It's gonna be a great day. It's a it's an overcast day on Grenada. And uh, we're fishing the Graysport side this time. And uh, last day pre-fish for the Crappie Masters Elite Series. Me and Mike right there. And uh, we're just headed out to our first spot. Actually, it's our second spot. So uh, just checking out, see if we got some fish there for the tournament. Should be a good day, guys. Thanks for watching. Today was an interesting day because it started off with no rain and, and then of course it started raining and it got, got pretty darn windy. We changed our techniques throughout today and you're going to see that in the video. We started off with long poles, we actually started to cast to them, Mike had some success to it but the fight was extremely difficult. We changed baits and this is the third day in a row we've been here and it was very interesting to see that. So enjoy the clips. Um, and I'm just going to walk you through a little bit of what we experienced on this day on Grenada Lake. Welcome to Grenada, Mississippi. That's a good fish. It's probably about a 1716, something in that neighborhood. I do want to thank uh, Bait Pop, the original fish formula for this season on the Crappie Masters Elite Series. Uh, check out their products, it's incredible. They're along for the ride in 2024 as well. Uh, go to the originalfishformula.com or baitpop.com. Honestly, great pop, uh, products, but also great people. All right, so here's the 10 footer hammer Tim. Um, used it for casting today um, on the lake. It was great. I went ahead and I went with a monkey milk style um, paddle tail with a 30 second ounce jig. I didn't have as much success as Mike did. He was using a curly tail and, um, but definitely that would draw it off the stumps. And especially because of how spooky they were. They absolutely the incredibly spooky fish today. Um, and we were fishing only about four or five foot of water the entire time that we were on the other side of Gray's Port. Now, because the fish, even when we got it down to them, a lot of times they weren't taking it, I started mixing it up. And this is the new uh, 16 ounce nasty hook. It's available at PTG. So if you're here in Grenada, you guys gotta check it out. It's a hardened J hook. It's a barrel style head right there. 1 16th, which I think is perfect for Grenada. And I went with that Grenada gold color plastic. So, and supplemented with a number seven split shot. Now we fished throughout the day, different depths. Most of the episode you're seeing right now is gonna be in the that five foot of water that we fished most of the morning. But then we transitioned to much deeper stuff. And man, that was fun. And that actually got our second two pounder of the day.
rain. Slab still going in the boat. But sometimes when the bite's tough, the bite is just flat out tough. It ain't gonna change nothing. Um, it's all about just running upon that the correct fish um, that wants to bite. I mean, it, it sounds silly, but it, but it, in the reality is that's the truth. I mean, there, there's just a large part of it has to do with finding the fish that just actually wants to eat. Now we did struggle a little bit today with the uh, the fish that were on stumps, fish that were on trees, structure. They didn't seem to react nearly as much as the ones that were in the mud or the ones that were roaming free. And so those seemed to be the targets that we knew that we could probably catch. And we kept trying the ones that were on the on the structure, but man, those things just would not would not budge. But we eventually went to some really deep water, 20, 25 foot water. There was almost a thermocline or some type of you know vegetation type line. It was interesting. And the fish would be below that, all the way down at 16, 18 feet. And those fish were very aggressive. And that's where our second two pounder of the day came. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the show. I know it was a little different format. I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment below. Let me know how you felt about it. But we're back here at the boat ramp. This day's over. We're ready for the tournament. We've got some good spots. Picked up two two-pounders today. Moving around quite a bit, trying different places. So that's pretty good. Uh, when you consider now, tomorrow we're gonna get the focus the entire day on just catching fish. So we feel pretty good about it. We know we need about at least seven two-pounders. 2.3, 2.2, whatever they are, we need seven of them. Hopefully they get up there. So here's the landing right here. Mike went to get the truck and uh, great day on the water. Short day, rainy day, as you can see, and a colder day, but uh, still fantastic day anytime you're on Grenada. So appreciate you guys. Please subscribe, please share the video. Grenada Lake, baby. Talk to you later.